Hello, everyone, and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a box particle scroll effect. Uh, now, I'm going to keep this video under 10 minutes, so I might go over some things fairly quickly. And uh, if you want me to, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comments uh, section, and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, so the effect that we'll be creating today is here. Let me just open up my Muse file. Okay. Now we have this what's called a badge. This is called a hipster badge. Um, and if I hit Command Shift E, we're gonna see what this uh, scroll effect looks like. You can see we have, um, I'm calling this scroll effect the uh, box particle scroll effect because we have all these squares just scattered around and when you scroll, everything comes together like so. And then, voila, you have your uh, badge there or you can call it a logo. Um, there you go. I got this, uh, this badge from uh, codedrops.com. So if you go to codedrops.com uh, and then you can just search for uh, badges. And here it is, freebie 32 hipster badges. And all I did uh, to get the badge was I, um, I opened it in, let's see the folder. This is the folder here. So I opened, uh, let's see, Adobe Illustrator. I think it was this one here. And uh, I just opened it in Illustrator. And we'll just wait till it opens. Okay. And yeah. So did it open here? Yep, here it is. All right. So I grabbed this one here. Oops. Here, let me just delete that background there. So I just grabbed this one. Oh, first I have to right click and ungroup. Uh, so I can select each one individually. I hit Command C on my Mac or right click. Oh yeah, Command C or Control V on a on a PC. Then I went to File New. Click. Uh, I think I'm gonna make it a thousand by a thousand. Let me see how big I made this one here. Um, the info. All right. Okay, uh, let's see, right, okay. Um, yeah, so basically I just copied and pasted this here and um, I'm just trying to see how big I made it so that if you, ha if you wanna know how big to make it, let me just open this file here. This one is uh, 500 by 500, okay, yeah, there we go. So I made the badge. If I go back to Illustrator, I made this badge here. After I copied it, I made it. Um, yeah, and it's already 500 by 500, so you can just leave it as it is. And you can change the width and height. Oh, no, sorry, it wasn't 500 by 500. There we go. And that seems pretty good. Um, 500, and just to be exact, I'll make the height 500 as well, right up here. All right, so that's pretty much it. And if I go to object, artboards fit to art, art board bounds, <laughs> artboards fit to artwork bounds, it'll just kind of clip it around the, uh, the image here. And then I went to file, save, uh, export. And uh, let's go back to my Skillshare folder. Uh, let's see, Skillshare, scroll effects and scroll effect two, and then I just saved it as a um, logo. I'll save it logo three, and then optimize this. Yep, looks good. You can leave all that like that, click okay. And if we go back to the folder, now I have this logo three here, hipster badge, looks good. Now what I wanna do is after I've saved the badge or uh, logo, uh, whichever name is fine, um, we just wanna right click, open with, and Adobe Photoshop. Now this is gonna let me cut up this image into a hundred different pieces. And that's how we actually got this, uh, this, if I can get to it. Yeah, the scroll effect here. See, it's a hundred different pieces and when you scroll, it all comes together like that. 
All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I opened it in Photoshop. Now to slice this into a hundred different pieces, uh, what I want to select is this uh, slice tool uh, right over here on the left. It's the uh, slice select tool. So you click here, and if it's on crop or anything like that, you just ho hold your mouse over it, and then you, you select the slice select tool. All right, and then I click on the actual um, artboard here, or the, or the image, or the you know, the badge or logo. And then up here, we now get the, uh, the word divide. So we want to click on divide, and we want to divide horizontally into 10. And then we want to divide vertically into 10. This is going to give me 150 by 50 um, squares. All right, so let me do that one more time. So I select the slice tool, slice select tool, click on the uh, artboard. If you don't click on it, you're not going to be able to, um, you know, this might not be uh, selectable, but if you do click here on the artboard, it'll be selectable. Then you click divide, divide horizontally into 10, divide vertically into 10, and click OK. Now if I go to File, uh, Save for Web, uh, this is very important. What you want to do here is zoom out so you can see the whole image. And you see you have all these slices here. And what you want to do is select over here in the gray area and just drag over the whole image here, or the whole uh, badge. There you go. And you'll notice that the lines turn yellow, and that's what you want because now uh, this is going to save out the 100 different pieces. If you don't select it and it's just blue, It'll just save out the image as one single image. So you want to select all, all you want to select the whole, uh, all the pieces, all the hundred pieces. Now I click save, and I'm gonna go back here to scroll effects, scroll effect two. I'm gonna make a new folder, images three, and I'm just gonna number it one. Okay. Now if we go to that folder, images three that I just created, we have another images folder that I created. And we have all our hundred pieces here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. I have two two and a half minutes left, so let me just show you what I did in Adobe Muse. All right. So if I select all of these rectangles here, um, you can see it's all of them are hundred pieces. And all I did was I created a uh, 50, 50 by fifty square here, and I'll just change the height and width there. I'll go to fill, add image, and then let me go to uh, desktop, Skillshare, uh, scroll effects, scroll effect two, images three, images, okay. And all I did was fill it with one. So there's one, I centered it, scale to fill, and that's it. And what I did is I just copied, here, let's try this again. Actually, before I fill it, let me just delete this image. I'll just show you how I made the grid. Ah, okay. <laughs> Paste. Uh, okay. All right. Paste. So that's all I did. I copied and pasted um, till I get a hundred by a hundred. Grid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ugh, nine, okay, ten. so there's ten, we copy this, there's, and so on. All right, so that's how I did it until I got a hundred by hundred grid, which is right here at the bottom. And after I did that, uh, what I did was, um, Okay, so, so I got the 100 by 100 grid, and then I, I went in and filled every block. I went one, you know, one, and then scale to fill, center it, then, uh, you know, went to the next block, uh, fill, add image, went to the second one, and so on and so on. Uh, these are empty because uh, up here you notice that there's nothing really there. But if I go to like this one, I go to fill, add image, uh, three, scale to fill, um, oh yeah, three is, here. let me just find one that has something in it so that I can show you, so like, uh, you know, 15, 
All right. So that was my time. I'm going to try just to go over maybe two minutes because my 10 minutes are up. But basically, you just go ahead, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, you know, so on and so on. So 1, 1 through 10, uh, 11 through 20, and so on. So this is what I did with this one down here. I just filled them in 100 uh, through uh, 1 through 100, and it created the badge. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if, if it doesn't start to look like one cohesive image, just make sure that you um, either scale to fit or scale to fill. Sometimes I'm pretty sure it's scale to fit that I use for most of these. Fail no scale to fill. I did scale to fill, and then um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just scale to fill, and then it should create the whole cohesive image. If it doesn't, just um, ask me a question in the comments, and I'll see how I can um, you know guide you in the right direction so that it creates one cohesive image. And then after I had all the squares there, what I did was um, I selected 10 random. You'll notice that these are all different colors, and I'll show you why. Um, so what I did is I selected 10. You know, uh, if I hold down the shift key, I can select uh, 10 squares at a time. All right, so that's what I did. And then I went to my layers panel uh, right over here. And you'll notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten layers here, also eleven, but um, I only needed ten. So basically, what I did is I selected ten random rectangles by selecting one, holding shift, and selecting, you know, just ten random rectangles anywhere in the grid, the hundred by hundred grid. And then what I did once I had those selected was that I created. Um, well, first I created the layer, so like I created. A new layer by selecting new layer here and then um, after I've selected them so I'll just show you as an example I'll select 10 here actually this might not work too well but here I'll select uh, 10 here because these are new Let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right ten and now they're in layer four so what I'm gonna do is go to layer four and select any boxes that are checked in the blue and I do that by holding down uh, Control or Command on my Mac and selecting all the blue. And there we go. I, I, I've selected all the blue. And now I'm just going to drag all of these under layer 12. And you'll notice the squares turned red, and that's what we want. Uh, so basically, I did that in groups of 10. And what this allowed me to do is uh, to see one layer at a time. So like. I've created 10 groups of 10 blocks. So I can go ahead and un like just view and just view these 10. So there's 10 uh, blocks here. And all I did with this was go to my scroll effects. So each uh, block, I went to uh, scroll effects uh, right up here. And I just, uh, you know, messed around with the scroll motion. And um, I gave each block. Uh, a scroll a speed from 1 to 10 to create more of a, an effect if you'll notice here the uh, the initial motions is set to 7 here is set to 9 so I went through 1 through 10 and the final motion I set to 0 so that it can all come in together and and stay uh, just create the image at the end so the final motion is gonna be exactly where how it looks like right now but the initial motion on this one is 3 so it's gonna start um, the speed is gonna it's gonna calculate it so that the block is gonna be at a distance of a scroll speed of three from the uh, original position. And with all of the uh, blocks, every single one, the uh, key position I set to two hundred. Uh, that way, um, you know it's gonna the final motion when you scroll when this hits the top of the browser, um, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna create the the image. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I know this is a lot of information, but basically, yeah, I just set it to 200. You can actually set it higher, and I'll show you if I set this higher on this one. I'll show you what's going to happen. Uh, you can't really, you can't really tell on this one, but yeah, let me just undo that. Um, let's try, let's try if I set the key position up here. Yeah, so you notice that the key position. 
uh, on this one it's the it's set to the top of the browser so this is the top of the browser and because the key position picture the key position right up here um, this block doesn't move these move because the key position is set at like 200 so it has some some scroll space all right let me know if you have any questions i know that's quite, quite a bit of information uh, but i'll just leave it at 200 um, so now if I go back to my layers and I preview this one, you'll notice that all of them, the key position is at 200. So again, um, yeah, and you can play with the uh, scroll effects. You know, I have them coming, you know, down from the right and some I have coming in up and from left to right. And I just change the scroll speed just to get a really random uh, thing going. So I did that in groups of 10 and each layer has a different set of um, here let me just I'm just gonna delete this because we don't need this here um, and I'm gonna delete layer 12 okay all right so each layer has its own uh, set of different ways it comes in comes out and things like that so yeah so then we get this here let me just um, take this image out here so we get yeah this really interesting effect where they all, they're all like particles and they all come to create uh, one image you know so they're all separate and then boom it's a pretty cool effect I, I quite enjoy watching it and looking at it um, you can do this with anything um, any image you can do this with and it can be a lot of fun for anybody to to see it all right it does take a bit of time because you got to fill in all the rectangles and then you got to give each square and groups of 10 you know all the different scroll effects you know, at different speeds, different directions, but it does make for a really awesome effect. Um, I think I went over my time probably by probably over five minutes, so it might be like a 15, 17 minute video. Uh, but I think it's worth it um, to get this really cool effect. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. And if it's on Skillshare, uh, just ask me in the discussion section. Uh, if you do want to take more classes, uh, you know, just join my Skillshare class and there'll be many more scroll effects uh, to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.